AIDS is exceptional. The epidemic has turned into one of the most serious challenges our planet has ever faced. Yet, despite the magnitude of the AIDS crisis, we're beginning to see some real progress. This film highlights some of the ongoing efforts around the world to halt the epidemic, and how young people especially are taking the lead in the response to AIDS. UNAIDS's banner is working towards universal access for HIV prevention, HIV treatment, care and support. And uh, uh, our main role is going to be, besides making sure that AIDS remains on the political agenda, is to make the money work for people on the ground. Cambodia is one of an increasing number of countries that have succeeded in reducing the prevalence of HIV. But some population groups, especially young people, are still at risk. I think for, for future prevention program, addressing drug users and men who have sex with men would be the priorities for Cambodia. Many of these young boys would be selling sex because they, there's an economic imperative. They're poor. Uh, they have very few employment opportunities and so they're, they're pushed to, to, um, to, to selling sex. Youth involvement in the AIDS response is increasing and having an impact in several countries. In Washington, D.C., a volunteer group of peer educators, Metro Teen AIDS, go out and talk to young people on the street. We always sometimes never use condoms. Always. That's good. I do this because I feel it's, it's a need in the uh, population because a lot of people are ignorant about HIV and AIDS. And even if they do know some facts, they probably don't know all. Heterosexual, gay, bisexual, other. You all straight? In Mexico City, peer educators are handing out comic books on HIV AIDS. They openly discuss youth sexuality issues as part of their advocacy. I work with, as a volunteer with the Global Youth Coalition on HIV AIDS, which is the largest uh, network of youth activists around the world. We are creating uh, a strong movement that can advocate uh, like in 170 countries around the world for the involvement of young people. The city of Tver on the Volga River has one of the highest HIV prevalence rates in Russia. The city has become a center for drug trafficking and intravenous drug use in the region. Да, это серьёзная проблема, так как большое число людей заражены ВИЧ, и малая доля из них только знает, что реально заражены ВИЧ инфекцией. Prevention programs like this in a city high school are growing in numbers, involving young people in discussions about their lifestyle. Botswana, one of the countries most affected by AIDS in the world. HIV prevention is scaled up in every part of society. The focus is on young people, and HIV prevalence has started to decline. Here, a new generation of African scientists is emerging as part of Botswana's increasing effort to halt the epidemic. This is hematology, basically. So we are running the uh, samples from different patients. Those are from the national program like those which are funded by the government on ARV treatment. We should have the development partners work with us to identify our needs, 
to strengthen our capacities uh, and our infrastructure, both physical and human, to be able to ultimately, independently, um, if they were to pull out, be able to control the epidemic. The district of Namakal in the state of Tamil Nadu in southern India has one of the highest HIV prevalence rates in the country. But the situation is changing and prevalence is falling thanks to innovative centers like the government general hospital in Namakal. But HIV continues to spread because Namakal is at the crossroads for a vast number of long distance truck drivers who visit female sex workers. The prevention of mother to child infection of HIV program must be integrated with long distance truck drivers awareness program because I have seen many orphan children born to uh, truck drivers in the community. Involving young people has become an increasingly important part of the AIDS response in India. Like this. मुझे लगता है आशावादी सभी को होना चाहिए क्योंकि अगर आप फ्यूचर नहीं सोचेंगे तो आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते अपनी प्रेजेंट टाइम में भी आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते अगर बिना फ्यूचर सोचे चलेंगे तो और साथ बैठने से साथ बात करने से हाथ मिलाने से नहीं फायदा The lead, leadership when we talk about that in UNAIDS that's not only for presidents and prime ministers of course they need to show leadership it's about survival of the country in many cases but it's also leadership of young people in their community and taking your destiny in your own hands that is development, that is progress.